Hey guys, here to help you to see what we can really find out here, right? So I did a video on the Apollo 17, a couple of the Apollo 17 photos, and somebody posed a question. They said, is this, is this common for uh, film to digital conversion? Because these were old and, uh, you know, I didn't have the answer. So I thought, hey, let's go uh, let's go look at some of the other Apollo 17, and this is uh, this is the link that that that, that gentleman uh, gave me Apollo 17 mission. So I went through here and you know pretty much took almost all of these photos and looked at them, especially these down here. Okay, this is a new one. This is what I did here. Oh, did I save that one? Let's save this one again. I'll show you astronaut. Uh, three. Okay, so the way I did this, then I opened them up here in GIMP. Open. Astronaut three. All right. And then very simply, all you do is change this thread red, green, blue, so that it, uh, so that it, 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 you change it to red, green, blue, so it accepts the brightness and contrast sliders, and then you just look here. Okay, so what we're looking at is, uh, we're trying to see for any of these pixelated aberrations. And you see, generally, they're getting in the black areas here. Um, definitely, there's a lot of it there. You know, even into his reflection. So, why is it black pixelated on his the reflection here? You really wouldn't expect to see the pixelation on his visor. So the question is, does it do this on every picture? And uh, you know, my answer is no, not really. Um, if you look at this one, uh, you pretty much do not see those aberrations. You see, they're much smaller, and uh, they're not the big, blocky aberrations that we saw in the past. So this is very, makes me wonder, like, where are these aberrations? It does not look like these other ones. You know, okay, look at this one. This one, why do we have these aberrations up here? Look, okay, so yeah, there's... A, couple of little tiny ones down here but this in a black sky there is no I can't say there's no explanation but to me there is no logical explanation for these long pixelated surfaces here okay it's just black sky And no, I do not think that transferring over black, and I mean, look, you can almost see it right here. I do not think that transferring over black will cause these pixelations. Maybe compression, decompression, something like that. Yes, I mean, I agree, it doesn't prove anything, but that's kind of weird. Okay, so here's this blue marble, right? Uh... Blue marble that I think is suspicious, right? Because here's the, look. Okay, so what is vastly different about this blue marble shot? First, this is full brightness and contrast, just like the other ones. Ah, uh, this one looks pretty decent. Look, we don't really see that much editing on here. 
but where's the pixelation at the edges with all these coloring? And why is this background gray? In all the other ones, the background came out a different color. I'm having to move this out of the way here. A different color. Okay, so why is that gray? That doesn't make sense to me. Look, gray. And look at this one. I mean, where this one comes from? Really? Look at the pixelation of that. Okay, so this is, look, black. I mean, you know, just black. Blackness, right? And it turns to that color. So, do you trust this color being a real globe? Huh. Why is the blackness of space not look the same? Why does the blackness of space look perfect like a gray mask? Look at that. Absolutely perfect. You would expect something like this, some bit of distortion or something, maybe. This, that's too perfect. This, it's not perfect enough. I mean, that's, uh, this to me shows... And do you really think that space that made these patterns? That, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying skeptical. Like, look at this. You can see it. You can literally see the patterns and see whether, look, there's textured here and look, there's cut, cut and paste here where there's no texture. Granted. Maybe it's something about the quality of the video or something, but this right here versus this right here. Awfully suspicious. Awfully suspicious. Awfully suspicious. I know I say that quite a bit. Let's go look at some other ones, right? We got a few more here. So here's a spacewalk, right? Space, supposedly. Um, none of the aberrations. So, is it processed from print to digital? I don't really think so. That's full brightness, full contrast there. Just doesn't, don't see any of the aberrations. And it's from the same website, so I would think they would compress and use the images the same way. Now, look at this one. I mean, there you go. Look at these massive pixelations. Huh. And look at the gray. Again, this gray is there, and it's just... It seems to be a gray mask, almost. Like, it's too black, too perfect... The more I look at these, the more I become uh, skeptical or continued skepticism. So let's move this one out of the way. I uh, don't know if we looked at this one. Yeah, we looked at this one. No, we did not look at this one. So this one is Rover. All right. So nice picture of the Rover. Let's go ahead and look at it again. Huh. Really? So we got this bizarre pixelation up here again. And we're not really getting too much of these large aberrations down here. I mean, it's really quite small compared to the amount of pixelation up here. The amount down here from just, uh, just a little bit. It's just a little bit in the dark areas. This is in the dark area just doesn't doesn't look right compared to this one how is that space the same how is that space the same gray versus blue dots versus that 
versus, okay, uh, look, it's another mask, versus here's some more dots, versus, oh, look, we went back to gray mask, versus really nothing, versus, okay, here's another one. Uh, so this is just simply the moon. So let's go ahead and let's zoom, zoom into this, and let's look at it again. And look at that, you get all those little dots and the pixelation out here, but it's not really close to what we see on these other ones. I mean, a little bit, but these are much, much, much worse. So, it, I mean, you know, that's not even, not even close to the same. Absolutely, hugely different. So, was it the same camera? Was it the same equipment? Was it the same website? I mean... Was it the same graphics designer that made them? <laughs> That's my question. Um, yeah, see that one. Uh, here's this one. And I mean, they just, they just continue on. And then there's this one that doesn't even look that bad. So these are some of the ones, some of the Apollo 17 that I found just now. That I looked at just now. I don't know if it proves anything, but uh, there are those... Those are the pictures. Take it for yourself. You can do this for yourself. It's very simple.